Hello to everybody. We're back here with the Red Deer Grind. We are now 1,460 kills into it. Hopefully today will be the day where we get our great one. Now, uh, this is going to be part of a video because I recorded a bit of a video earlier today. And uh, towards the end of it, I said, you know, I'm going to go do a live stream. And if I get anything uh, during the live stream, it'll be in the video. So... This is technically still part of my recording from earlier. Okay, um, I need to reset the time. They're still here for some reason, but let's get it back to the beginning. There we go. So, our HM's at a pretty good state. Like, uh, during the last stream, we were getting a diamond like every 25 to 27 kills. On average, like since we shot all of our stacked diamonds, not counting the ones that were stacked. And now we're down to 21. Like, we're getting a diamond every 21 kills. So this HM is looking pretty nice. Just getting a few extra fours in a couple of the zones I didn't want to grind really made all the difference. It got us to a pretty solid average, honestly. And also, guys, I have decided that after we get a couple of the Great One Red Deer off of Emerald Coast, I think I might start up a Tiawaroa grind again for Red Deer. And I want to take it even further in the HM than we did here. I want to get it to an extreme state. And just see if we notice a difference in the amount of great ones we get. I want to really uh, push our Tiaboroa Red Deer grind to the absolute limit. So we're going to see how that goes. I don't know if there'll be any grinds in between. We might like uh, do a little bit of fallow or bears before we go into uh, Tiaboroa Red Deer grinding. But I mean, you know, first things first, we got to get a few off Emerald Coast, so it'll be a bit before we move around. Hopefully we can get a few to pop quickly, though. Really hoping we can. But how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing phenomenal. Hey, Seth, Boat Guy, Archer, Jared, Husky, Tyler, uh, Aki, we got Taven, we got Colton, we got Texan Boy, we got Unlucky Grinder, we got MLMX, we got Hypified. Uh, we got Eli, we got Snipe. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing super, super good. Dynamic, thank you for the five months. Ew. Wow, dude. Wow. Wow. So rude. Um, not, not entirely, Marble, no. Uh, like, weeks ago, Jaxie had kind of revealed that they were already starting work on, like, the next, next map after the next one. But we don't know what they're going to be. They haven't even, like, told us what this next one's going to be. Let alone the one after that. But yeah, we've kind of known that they had a couple maps in the works for a while at this point. Nice, Texan boy. That's awesome, man. How's the grind? It's going great, man. It's going great. <sighs> I shot this one earlier today, and it came back as a four. Well, I guess we'll leave him for now. We'll just kill that five that's there. No, no, no. That's that's not what he meant by that uh, marble. I was there when he was uh, doing his premiere. I was chatting with him. The whole concept of the video was that EW had said there's a couple of maps in the works, right? And he was kind of theorizing what those couple maps would be. If that makes sense. Nice, Lone Wolf. That is awesome, dude. That's a crazy accomplishment. I don't think I'm even at a 1,000 on one of the maps. I think I'm at like 750 on Golden Ridge and like 100 on Norway. I definitely need to pick up the pace then. My gosh. You love to see it. Big Boy Mythicals in the building. Is the Hunter better on Steam instead of the Microsoft Store? I have definitely seen more people reporting problems with the Microsoft Store one. Uh, Steam in general is usually like the most like smooth platform to use on PC. But I mean, there shouldn't be too many differences between the two. There might just be like some crashes that are exclusive to one or the other because they are on a slightly different platform. But to be honest, I'm not 100% sure on that, just kind of guessing. I don't think there's too many differences, but I, I prefer the Steam platform. Also, guys, we added this zone into the grind. 
because we ended up shooting down this zone, I added this one in because this zone had a level 7 and a level 5. The only reason I wasn't hunting it before is because it's in the mangroves and I don't like the mangroves. But uh, with the setup I've got going now, it's actually not bad. It's pretty, uh, pretty solid. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing good. Oh, I bet, Lone Wolf. Kind of why I haven't uh, got the rep up there. No, Husky, I didn't. Uh, you can say it again if you want. Anything here? Yeah. Nice, we got a seven. Also, guys, I added a few new songs to the playlist. And I also made it so I've got two separate playlists for the stream. So this playlist is kind of like my... It's kind of like my, like, rap, lo-fi, and funk, and punk, and metal playlist. And then I have a playlist that also includes, like, the country and, like, the folk type of stuff as well. Because um, I figured, you know, like, some days I'm not really feeling like listening to really, like, slow-paced, calming country music. Like, sometimes, sometimes during a stream, I just want to go crazy. Like on a grinding stream, I feel like the, the slower pace stuff doesn't fit it as good. Because, I mean, we're like blazing from zone to zone, just blasting everything in sight. We need stuff to match it. So I've created two separate playlists that we'll kind of use based on what we're going to be doing in the stream. There we go. Big mail down. Nox, thank you for the 14 months, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. How do you go so many shots off? My 300 just goes straight up and the red deer are gone. Uh, have you tried getting the recoil management perk? You go into the perks and then you go into shotguns and then get level 3 recoil management. It is a lifesaver. And also, I play on mouse and keyboard, so every time I shoot, I just jerk the mouse downwards. And it helps me get back on target. And once you've shot like... 80 plus thousand animals on grinds, you kind of just get the muscle memory down. That's a lot of it for me, is just the muscle memory. And also making sure you have a sensitivity that you're comfortable with. Once you get used to a specific sensitivity, typically like lower sensitivities are better than higher sensitivities if you're talking about like precision and accuracy. Kevin, thank you for the three months. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Yeah, exactly, Texan boy. Like fast paced music for the more fast paced grinding streams. And then for like Angler, I'll use like the other playlist probably because it fits it better. By the way, guys, we got a special Angler video happening tomorrow. I hope you guys are excited. I've had a lot of you requesting more Angler content. And I've also had a lot of you requesting more 60 minute trophy challenge. So I figured why not combine the two? 60 minute trophy challenge Angler edition premieres tomorrow. It's going to be interesting. Because the thing is, like, we can't do it the same way that we do in the Hunter because the games just don't have the same things. Like, the Angler doesn't have, like, taxidermied animals, so I can't, like, have the fail wheel. So I've decided to do it a little bit differently for the Angler 60-minute trophy challenge. Essentially, at least in Episode 1, we're probably going to tweak it as we go to figure out what works the best. But in Episode 1, it's going to be I spin the wheel with all the fish on it for two different fish and then I have to catch a gold or better of both of those fish before 60 minutes is up and if I fail I have to give a shout out to a fellow content creator that does angler content since we can't really do a fail a fail wheel I figure I'll just help out other creators so anytime that I fail the uh, 60 minute trophy challenge for the angler I'll be uh, shouting out a content creator that does the angler content Might as well help some others out, you know. But I definitely think that in the future, I'm going to do it a little bit different. Like, I did the catch two, you know, like catch a gold of the two species that I roll. However, the more I thought about it, I there's probably not going to be too many that I end up completing because of how tough golds can be to catch. So I'm thinking to make it a little bit more possible i've added in something called the modifier wheel so episode two of 60 minute trophy challenge angler edition will have something called the modifier wheel where essentially like after i've rolled the two fish i also roll the mod i also spin the uh, modifier wheel 
and that can give me a, a various a various uh, range of different buffs or debuffs whether it be like I'm only allowed to use light tackle or I'm only allowed to use the fish's least preferred bait or I'm or like uh, once I catch a diamond it's an insta win or like add 20 or add 10 silvers to the two diamond or the two gold requirement like there's a bunch of little things on there to make it tougher or easier and I think that's a cool way to do it so episode one will not have that but episode two and beyond probably will and I'm also going to take like comments from you guys and use that to shape what the future episodes will be it's very much going to be a series shaped around what you guys give me in the feedback uh, in the comments Either way, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be something different than what we've done with Angler before. Hey, Double Shot, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing good. Hey, Deer Slayer. Newer 338 is your favorite gun? Yeah, it's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. I'm using it right now, and it is a Red Deer slaying machine. Like, holy crap. Come on. Ah, I hit her. No. I think I can claim him before she dies. Oh, gosh, Trey. That's rough. Or er, Trev. That's rough, man. That does not sound fun at all. All right, yeah, we need to main menu after we claim this because I don't want that uh, hind to die. So I'm not going to shoot anything over there. We'll shoot him after we uh, main menu. Nice, Hypify. That's awesome, dude. Hey, Sarah, how's it going? Got a four and a half pound rainbow trout. Nice, dude. Nice. How many kills? 1,473. We're getting deep in this grind, man. We're getting deep in the grind. Because they're playing Angler, Double Shot. She's never played Angler. And uh, Robra is like the Angler Encyclopedia. And I had... I was going to stream with them as well. But I had already like said in my video that I recorded today that I would be streaming today. And I'd include all the trophies from the stream. So I kind of had to stream the Hunter instead of the Angler. Otherwise, it wouldn't have, uh, it would have, like, ruined the, what's it called, like, continuity of my video. Because it, like, wouldn't have included what I said it was going to. So I, I had to do this. Which I'm fine with. I love, I love this Red Deer grind a lot. This is probably the most fun I've had on a grind in a while. I never quit a grind, Outdoor Boy. I don't know why people think that just because I stop a grind for a week or two that that means I quit it. I don't quit grinds. If anything, I just put them on hold for a little bit if I get bored of it. Bears will return. But because we got our 50th great one, I wanted to do something different as like a celebration, right? So I did the 50th great one special and then we started up this grind as like a, a cool thing to do to try and get our 51st. Uh, no rares today, no. Uh, no diamonds today either. How do you see how many animals from a certain species you've killed? You can't actually see how many. You just have to count yourself. I use an app on my phone that is called uh, Smart Counter. I use it to keep track of my kills, my total kills, or my kills per grind, total kills overall for... All of my grinds combined for that species. I use it to keep track of my diamonds from that grind, diamonds from all the grinds combined, etc. That way I don't have to like guess. I think I actually remember you from those streams, uh, Texan boy. You got this, Lone Wolf. I believe in you, man. I believe in you. You got this, dude. It's me, Crow Scare. Came to apologize how I know it was back when I started watching you. Growing more mature, hopeless, annoying. 
No worries, dude. No worries. No worries. You know what happens. We all make mistakes. Nice, Vikings. Nice. There we go. How's it going, buddy? Couple of them there. Uh, that's only one herd, so... We're still missing one of the herds. We'll have to reset the time again after we kill these. Oh, he moved! Why? Bro, that is just not cool. You can't just be moving on me like that. You can't just be moving on me like that. Get that other herd in there. Yeah, he moved! <laughs> Literally. Oh, got him. Smoked. Nice, Vikings. Hopefully you get some diamonds and rares soon, man. Hopefully you have a good grind. You still get a respawn if you kill one and don't harvest? Yes, you will get a respawn, but as far as we know, you will not get great ones if you're not claiming them. So I recommend claiming at least like 90% of your kills. Otherwise, great ones just will not show up. We don't know why, but based on what the community has seen and what Jaxie Beard has hinted at during the live streams, it does appear that you need to claim them in order to get a great one. But like, if you miss a few here and there, it's not going to hurt you that much. As long as you're getting the majority of them. On. Watch this. I'm going to shoot next to them so that he turns to me. That way we get a nice broadside shot. How long do I plan on streaming? Probably a couple hours since it's a little bit later. I won't go for like three or four like I do a lot of the time. We're just going to go for like two tonight. Otherwise, it would be like past, past 9 p.m. pretty much. Pretty much dynamic. I don't watch uh, football, Patrick. I don't watch any sports, to be honest. I don't really have time. It's got a 217 albino fallow. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is super awesome. What happens if you kill the females? I mean, depends on the species. If I kill a female during a fallow grind, sometimes the, those uh, females that I've killed will just not respawn until I've killed like four or five of them. And then they'll just create a new herd with a couple of my bucks, which is like the worst thing you could possibly have happen on a grind that you're like, where you're used to rotating on the same zones. Like having them switch around like that is terrible. So I try not to shoot the females. It happens with red deer too. If you shoot too many of the females, sometimes they'll just create a full new herd. And then you'll have to chase, chase them around the map trying to figure out where that new herd showed up and where your males disappeared to. So it's just better not to shoot females during a grind. Just so you don't have to chase them around. Where did that male go? Where did he go? Over here, eh? There he is. There he is. Appreciate it, James. Uh, yeah, Unlucky Grinder, that's really good. I'm at like 17. I'm at like a diamond every 17 kills on my fallow grind. So yeah, that's about the same as me. Uh, not always, uh, DJ. It's, it's different each time. I've killed fallow deer females and had them spawn back in the same herd. I've killed fallow deer females and had them swap herds. And I've also... Killed them and had them not respawn until I killed a few more and then they made a new herd. So I've had a lot of different things happen. They're super unpredictable. Which is why it's not good to accidentally shoot them. Come on. May I have your attention? Please. Thank you. Come on, bro. You can't just be not dying like that. That's just not... That's not cool. That's rude. Oh, gosh. I didn't hit the other one vitally either. 
We're doing great. We're doing lovely. Well, one died. Do I stream Angler on any other day besides Tuesday? Uh, the only guaranteed day is Tuesday. Any other Angler streams are just like spur of the moment whenever I feel like doing it, essentially. Same with Angler videos. Like, I try to get out at least one a week, but I cannot 100% guarantee it as... I still prefer playing the Hunter Call of the Wild over the Angler. I like them both, but I prefer the Hunter. So there's definitely going to be more of the Hunter content than the Angler content, but I, I will still continue doing Angler content because I do enjoy the game. Come on. Yeah, we're not going to get him. He kind of got into a spot where I didn't want to risk hitting the females. No, Timmy, they're not. The ground blinds that I use are completely different because they're waterfowl blinds. They're from the Duck and Cover DLC, and because they're a waterfowl blind, you can place them closer to tents than normal. They're honestly so OP for grinding like this. Oh, it's an awesome game, Vikings. I really enjoy it. It is a very fun game. Orlando, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. When do I expect to get the Great One Fallow without HM? I have 400 to 500 kills, so a lot of dimes and rares, no Great One. I mean, it's going to be very random. There is no way to guarantee or, like, predict when it's going to happen. I'd say most likely it'll be between, like... A thousand and two thousand, but it's also one of those scenarios where it's really hard to predict. You can't really predict when a great one's gonna show. You can just like uh, predict like an average range, which can vary a lot from person to person. I mean, you look at different grinds across the board. Flinter spent probably like what five thousand plus grinding for the fallow, and then a lot of other people have. Got their fallow great ones sub 1000, so like it can vary a lot. Level five, eh? Unacceptable. No fives allowed. You need to be a five plus five, please. Five plus five, yeah? I wouldn't say there's an overall best rifle in the game, Connor, because uh, every species has a, a select amount of guns that you can actually use on them. So, like, every gun is going to have its limitations. There's going to be a lot of uh, guns that can't be used on specific species. And so I don't think it's... I, don't, I really don't think you can choose a best gun overall. There's definitely best guns for specific class ranges, or, like, best guns for a specific animal. But I don't think there's a best gun overall in the game. At least I, I couldn't choose. I'm going to say 827, Charlie. That's my guess. Hey, Owen. How's it going, man? Welcome back, my dude. Welcome back. Uh, check out the guide I've got, James. I'm pretty sure in the guide I briefly mentioned, like... Silvers. It, the only thing that you change when going for like smaller fish versus larger fish is the hook size. That's really all you have to change. So just use like size one or size two hook. And then like follow the lake trout guy that I have. But yeah, the only thing you want to change is like the hook size. Use size one or two instead of what I mentioned in the video. How was that not vitals? I think I was too low. He's not going to die. 
Not anytime soon, at least. Orlando, thank you for another super chat, dude. Should I start buying tents and tripods for my fallow grind on Tiawaroa? Uh, I would. I mean, it's never too early to stock up for a grind. Never too early to get things ready for a grind, man. Oh, yeah, definitely dynamic. Definitely. They, they're they very different feeling games for sure. Oh, no, Colton, that sucks, dude. Sorry to hear that, man. It happens, though. There was two? There was two males here? That does not happen very often for me. Usually this is a one male zone. No, Vikings, he doesn't. He's not a grinder. Like, he doesn't really try to grind for stuff like that. It's just not really his thing, you know? He enjoys just having fun on the game. All right, we are going to uh, jump on the ATV and zoom around. I don't feel like walking over there. It's ATV time. Same old Cairo. I'd like to see new map. I mean, we typically get one in December, so it shouldn't be too much longer. There we go. Nice slave. That's awesome, dude. Congrats, man. Nah, I'm definitely not the real scarecrow. Nah, nah, nah. This is a, uh, this is fake scarecrow right now. I'm an AI scarecrow. Just shooting red deer. Look at these AI-like movements. They're so quick and snappy. Who is bear crow? Imposter! I know, right, Blakester? Freaking knew it, dude. Nice, Derek. That's awesome, dude. Congrats, man. Orlando, thank you for another super chat, dude. Holy crap. Just absolutely berating us with those uh, super chats. Really appreciate it, dude. Been avoiding buying the 300, but ever since I bought it, I've been loving it. Love watching levels under 7 and 9 drop like nothing. Love it for my moose grind. It's so good, man. Like, it is such an awesome rifle to use. The 300, in my opinion, is like a necessity rifle to have. It is so helpful for so many things. Pretty new to this live chat stuff, even though I've been subscribed for a while, but what would you like the next map to be? I would love to see a Texas Game Ranch, or I would like to see Africa 2.0. I feel like those are the two maps that would be like the most insane and just really cool to hunt. Because a Texas Game Ranch could have a bunch of exotic species like the Pier David's deer, the Watusi cattle, a bunch of different African antelope species, and cool things like that. I just feel like it could be such a good map. And then, obviously, like, everybody wants Africa 2.0, so I'd love to have that as a map as well. So those would be my top two picks. I think both would be really awesome. Orlando, thank you for another super chat. Holy. Holy. What's up, Dynamic? How are you? I, I, I don't know. How, how's it going, Dynamic? Orlando wants to know. Thank you once again, man. Whoa. Do I see... Do I see a wild TTK in the building? I think we got a wild TTK in the building. Oh! <laughs> yes, oh my god! Oh! No! Ma'am, I'm sorry! That was not intentional, I promise. Medved 2.0 with polar bears. I mean, if they made it similar to White Rhyme Bridge on the Hunter Classic, I would be okay with that. White Rhyme is one of the best maps in Classic, so if they could replicate that in the Hunter, Call of the Wild, that'd be so good. 
50 to 75. Okay, we're good. She won't die before we claim him. Lodge with skull mounts? Oh, skull mounts would be so, so cool. That'd be so awesome, man. I'd love that. Okay, hear me out, Richie. What if they did both? What if they gave us an Africa 2.0 plus a Lion Great one? That way it could be on both, right? Because, like, if they do an Africa 2.0, they got to reuse, like, the Lion and the Cape Buffalo. Because those are, like, super popular species. So my thought is they could do an Africa 2.0 and it could have... Oh, Oh, we got a pie ball. Let's go. And a diamond. Holy crap. Why could why could you have not been this combined? Oh man, that's super sick though. Holy crap. A rare next to a diamond. You don't see that every day. You do not see that every day. Even when you're herd managing, it's rare to get a rare and a diamond side by side like that. Oh, gosh, what do we shoot first? Probably this guy because... If we mess up the pie ball, it's not going to, like, ruin its rating too bad, right? Because it couldn't be more than a gold anyway. But if we mess up the diamond, then it won't be a diamond. So we're going to shoot the diamond first. That's sick, though. Side by side. Holy. And a big boy mythical on the other side. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Um, I have a lot of videos talking about herd management to hypify it. You'd have to be more specific on exactly what you're looking for. Hey, Dill, how's it going, dude? Let's see. That's kind of a wonky dude. You know what I've been noticing recently? Oh, that scored top of the estimate as well. Interesting. You know what I've noticed, though? I've noticed that both of my melanistics have been even and all of my pieballs have been wonky. I'm curious if there's something to that. Because in the past, like, all rare red deer were wonky for the most part. But nowadays, like, the melas don't seem to be wonky. So I'm curious if, like, melas and albinos will be even and pieballs will be wonky like this. We'll have to kind of see what else happens throughout the next few thousand kills and see if it continues. Because I haven't got an albino on this grind yet. And I've only got the two melas, so I don't have a large, like, data pool to figure out if that's true. But I definitely feel like the piebalds are wonky now and the others aren't for rares. But we'll have to see. <laughs> yeah, Nate. <laughs> 265. He big. He big. That's so sick. Side by side. Side by freaking side. Jackson boy, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emos, extra Discord channel, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Really appreciate it, dude. Nice, Wyatt. That's awesome, man. That is really cool. Why do I not tax the diamonds? Because I've got 886 diamond red deer from our herd management grinds on Tiabaroa and then the herd management grind we're doing right now. Herd management makes your diamonds spawn more often. And so there's a, at a certain point, you got to stop taxing all of them if you're herd managing because otherwise you're going to have like hundreds of diamonds you can't even put in your lodge because there's not enough room. There's that. Got a five here. Let's boop this guy real quick. Should take him down pretty quickly. We are one kill off of 1,500. TTK is one of them. Wow, Nate. That is savage. That is, that is savage. <laughs> Going in on poor TTK. <laughs> what did he do to deserve that, bro? Hey, Raptor, I'm doing good. Hopefully we can get that great one, man. Hopefully we can. The grind has been looking really, really good the last, like, day and a half. 
been very, very happy with how everything is working out. We may not be as extreme on the HM as we were on Tiavaroa for Red Deer, but we're getting there. We're definitely at a really good state. It's feeling good. Hey, Colin, how's it going, dude? Little feller. Oh, another little feller. What the hell? I didn't need this. Just as I said, everything was going so well. We have two of my main shootables respawn as small males. One of them was an extra small male. Oh, man. Hopefully the other herd will at least have a big male in it. Where's the other herd? I mean, better. <laughs> it's still not a big male, though. He's still not big, but he's better. Sounds about right, Raptor. That's how it be sometimes, man. Right now, on this grind right here, uh, we're at 1,502 kills. We've got 38 diamonds and 7 rares. And I think that averages out to like an average of 40 kills between diamonds, but... Ever since we stopped stacking our diamonds and killed them off, um, I don't count any of the stacked diamonds in this new number, right? But since we finished killing all those, we've been getting a diamond on average every 21 kills. Which is pretty good. We're in a good state. What legendary fish are in rotation this week? It's Goldstein and Calpol the Dominator on Angler. Couple of pretty good ones. Is it normal to have solo bears on a great one grind? Every bear is a solo, no matter what. Every black bear is a solo for everybody. It's just the way they are, sadly. Okay, that's the one that's normally here. This is new. That one is new. The other one is a solo, so I don't want to shoot it. Mrs. Crow coming in with the 34 months. Holy. That's insane. 34 months as a member. Almost at three years. That's crazy. I need to design a three-year badge. We're getting close to that point where we're going to need it. I think I've got two people that have already surpassed three years as a member anyway, so... I should make one. I wonder if I should make like a diamond badge for like three years and longer. Because I think I can, I think I can do a three year badge. So I think I'll make one that's like kind of like a diamond blue. Like we already have one blue badge for the, it's essentially like your one month badge. From like one to three months you have a dark blue badge, but I'll make like a bright like powdery blue one. Kind of looks like uh, the type of blue people would associate with diamonds in like Minecraft and stuff, you know? Like that type of a blue. I think that could be a cool three-year badge. Yeah, you're super close, Lone Wolf. You are super, super close. And so is Redneck J with 31 months. Holy. Holy crap, dude. Thank you for the 31 months. Really appreciate it. Maybe with wings? Yeah, we could do something special for the, uh, for the three-year one. Like, uh, up until now, I've only done, like, different colors of the badge. So, yeah, we could maybe, like, add something extra to it to signify that you're a three-year member. Nice, we got them both down. Where's our great one, man? Hey, Pix, how's it going, dude?
Oh, what would I say if I got a melanistic uh, great one? I mean, considering it can only happen for whitetail, it's unlikely I'll get one anytime soon because I haven't been hunting whitetail. But, I mean, I'd, I'd be freaking out because I would be the only person that has one. Technically, they're possible. The whitetail is the only one that can have rares for the great one. There's been one albino found and less than 10 fabled piebalds. If I got a Mela, I'd be the first person to get a Melanistic uh, Great One Whitetail, so... I mean, I think I'd more than freak out. I think I'd literally, like, break my vocal cords. Nice, got them both. Diamond border around the rainbow image. That could work. That could work. I don't know. I think I want to make the three-year badge even more special, though. The only problem is, like, I got to make sure it's visible on a small, small little badge, right? Because the badges aren't that big in the chat. They're kind of small. So I got to make sure that it's visible. We'll figure something out. I might have to talk to somebody that knows how to make emotes, like potentially Holocrow or uh, Archie. They're a couple of my moderators and friends that have been around for a long time, and both are very, very good at making like emotes and other like art type of things. So I might talk to them, see if they can cook something up. Like, I was thinking another thing that would be kind of cool. Maybe do the kind of like diamond blue... The kind of like diamond blue color for the badge and then have a crown on it or something like that. I feel like that would be kind of cool. Because that would really make the uh, three year members stand out. Oh yeah, the 338 is incredible. It is a lifesaver on these grinds. Saves so much time with tracking. Is the angler fun? Oh yeah, it's a really fun game. If you enjoy the hunter call of the wild and you also enjoy fishing, it's like the perfect game. It's got the same type of pacing as the hunter call of the wild. Like there's going to be lots of action in it, right? You're going to catch a lot of fish usually. However, the trophy fish are very, very rare. But uh, because of the fact there's so much action, you don't get bored even if you're not catching the trophies because you're always getting something even if it's small. And now with this recent update, they've got a lot of good things that they changed and tweaked and added. It's in a good state. That's a six. Okay. Imagine the great one ends up spawning in this zone. This is the zone that like doesn't get a male every run. It's like every couple of runs we'll see a male in here or a new male, I should say. How many kills am I at? 1,513. We're getting up there. We are getting up there for sure. Hoping this thing will spawn within the next 500 or so. I'd like to get a sub 2,000 grind, but... Knowing my previous luck with Red Deer, I don't know if that's going to happen. I got a feeling this is going to be a 3,000 kill grind. Because that's just kind of how the Red Deer usually are for me. Aside from a couple of short grinds I had. All right, so we got three there we can smoke. I'll probably only be able to shoot two before they run. Got those two. Oh! Let's go. Smoked him. That was wild. That was wild.
not addicted to it or anything. It's okay, TDK. We can talk about our angler addictions. It's okay. It's, this is a place you can talk about your addictions to Call of the Wild, the angler, the hunter Call of the Wild, and we won't judge you. It's okay. Hey, Hypophyte, how's it going? How many kills? 1,516. Been grinding Whitetail for five months now. 3,000 kills, no great one. Yeah, it happens, man. Hopefully you'll get a, get a break soon and get that great one to pop. Hopefully it'll be soon, man. Oh, hello there. Level seven in the building. Ah! <laughs> we ended up hitting the root. I guess that's the root of our problem. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. You guys know I gotta do at least one awful joke per stream. <laughs> at least that was like one of my better ones. I would argue that's one of my better jokes that I've done. One of my better puns. You gotta admit, that was better than a lot of the ones I do. Like, that was at least half decent. Sean, thank you for the super chat, dude. Good evening, Crow. How is everything going? Getting anything good? Yeah, dude, we got ourselves a piebald level 7 already. As well as one diamond. We're doing good. It's been a solid night so far. I hope you're doing good as well. It was all right. Wow. Just all right, eh? Oh. <laughs> all right. Oh my god. Two smokable males. Nice. Should you get way of the hunter? Uh, if you like a slower pace, more realistic hunting game, then I would say it's definitely a good buy. It's uh, much more comparable to like the Hunter Classic than anything else. So if you like that slower pace, more realistic hunting experience, then Way of the Hunter is a very good game to get. You even got a full genetic system. And like what you shoot and hunt determines what the future genetics of your map are going to be and will influence how often you see big males versus small males. So like it's a really cool game. A lot of detail goes into it. However, if you don't like slower paced hunting games and prefer the fast paced nature of like the Hunter Call of the Wild, then maybe it won't be as much of a fit for you, but if you like realistic stuff. It's great. 300 Magnum best for turkeys. Oh, definitely. 100%. I mean, I would argue you would love to, you would, you would really want to use the um, 700 BMG or whatever Kentucky Ballistics had recently. Was it 700 BMG? Oh, that's a legendary. I think it was 700 BMG. <laughs> Use that on a turkey. See what's left of it. <laughs> Boop! We got a nine. I didn't miss those. You guys saw wrong. Yeah. Also, that was the lowest estimate I've ever seen on this uh, this particular rack. I don't think I've ever seen a 219 to 265 estimate on one of these. That's crazy. Maybe I have. Maybe I'm just not thinking of it. This is definitely the smaller version, though. This guy doesn't have as much mass on the lower parts of the beams. And the splits are not as large. Yeah, 253. It's still a diamond, though. We're doing pretty good today on the diamonds. Got two of them so far. Not too bad. Is that two in the same run or was the other one last run? It might have been last run. Can't remember. That's the only way to kill turkeys. I know, right? Take the biggest gun possible and blast them. Obviously. I have zero great ones, starting with Whitetail was a bad idea. I mean, Whitetail are definitely not the toughest one. Uh, they're also not the easiest, but they're not the toughest. They're kind of middle of the road. I'd say the easiest great one's Fallow Deer. To be honest, Whitetail are second easiest in my eyes. Hello? 
Can I spot you, bro? Nope. As I was saying, though, I'd say moose or red deer are probably third. Moose are fourth. Um, bears are fifth. They're the toughest on, in general. Actually, to be honest, in some cases, red deer can be as well. Because the thing about red deer is... It's not tough to hunt red deer, right? Like, there's a lot of plentiful red deer on Tiabarola and also now Emerald Coast. Gosh, we messed both of those up. Feels bad. However, they seem to take longer than moose. Like, moose on average are one of the shortest grinds that you could have. The problem is, like, they're tough to kill. And they're really spread out, so it makes it feel like it's tougher than it actually is. But, like, moose and fallow have the shortest grinds of any great one, on average. Oh, gosh, Nate. Oh, gosh. Cal versus Nate. <laughs> Who wins? Obviously, Nate. Duh. Nate, Nate wins everything. What do you mean? All right, later, ghost. Thank you for dropping in. And another legendary. Let's freaking go. Oh, we're on a roll right now. We're on a good streak. All right. We are on a freaking streak. One more down. The Cal Texas hard shot scrub hair. Oh gosh. Poor scrub hair, man. There'd be nothing left. I'm at 5,780 kills on my fallow great one grind with no great ones. That sucks, man. That's definitely not normal. That's definitely above average. Hopefully you'll get it soon, dude. 254, another small rack one. But it's another diamond. Love to see it, man. Well, tomorrow's Call of the Wild video is going to have a lot of diamonds in it, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. There we go. Oh, I just realized what you meant with that dynamic. I read it when you said besides Tackle Tuesday, and I was like, what is it? Who's he replying to? What what does he mean by that? I get it now. You were saying that Nate <laughs> Nate doesn't win when it's Tackle Tuesday. <laughs> oh man. Poor Nate. Poor Nate just catching strays. To be fair, he kind of jumped in front of in front of the line of fire though. Only all the time, TTK. What do you mean? It's it's all the time, not at times. All the time. Yeah, nothing there. All right, no shootable males showing up there. Um, I think Brober's got a golden trout guide marble. I would recommend checking that out. I haven't really done any guides on golden trout, and I have not fished for them since the update. So I don't know if they've changed anything. In terms of like what they used to where they used to be like prevalent and where they are now but I don't really have any tips I can give for the golden trout because like I said I don't know if they've changed their like hot spots and things ah I hit the female you know we're just gonna claim him hit the freaking female hate to see it
Hate to see you, man. All right, let's see. Uh, it depends, Case. And I, the thing about like my upload schedule for like uh, the types of videos that I do, it's very random. Like I don't really have a set schedule when I upload stuff. It's kind of just like when it's a recording day, I kind of just record like the first things that come to mind that I think would be fun to do that day. So if I'm thinking like, huh, I kind of feel like I want to do a random wheel video. Then I end up making one. If I feel like doing a grinding video instead, then I make a grinding video. So I can't promise when the next random wheel video will be. There will be more in the future though. There will definitely be more in the future, but I don't know exactly when. Because above everything, I try to make sure that I'm making content that I'm enjoying and having fun with. Or else I feel like it just shows in the video. Like, you can tell when somebody's not enjoying what they're doing. And it, like, brings down the vibes of the video. So I try to just do whatever I feel like doing that day. No, Case, and anybody that thinks that clearly doesn't watch the channel. Anybody that would think that I cheat clearly is not somebody who watches the channel. It would just take like a little bit of watching my streams and you can see that I play this game all the time. Anybody that would think that I have something that gives me infinite ammo clearly didn't do the math clearly doesn't have many brain cells because if you look at a grind a hundred kills on red deer is going to get you like a hundred and forty thousand or more if you're using the proper ammo if you're not using the proper ammo it's more like a hundred k and then what what does a hundred k get you in ammo that's going to get you like a thousand rounds it's not hard to get a lot of ammo if you do a lot of grinds. There we go. Pretty much anybody that... Pretty much anybody that would think somebody that grinds that would need to get free ammo obviously has never grinded themselves. And so they don't understand how much money you make off of a grind. And they also probably don't understand herd management if they think I spawn diamonds. Herd management is the most powerful grinding method you could possibly use. And it's fully backed by the developers. So why would anybody cheat when they can just play the game and get the same results as somebody that's cheating just by being smart with what they shoot? blows my mind that anybody would think that after all the after all that I've shown about herd management how do you not have much recoil use level 3 recoil management perk from the shotgun category and also I play on mouse and keyboard with low sensitivity I wish, Kevin. That's what I really want. I can't believe we've gone 22,000 kills without a super rare Mela. Out of all of our Red Deer grinds, that's the one super rare I don't have is the Mela. I need it so bad, man. I need it so bad. I missed the super chat, did I? Oh, I did. Sean, thank you for the super chat, dude. Fixing to head off to bed. Have a good evening, Crow. Same to all you folks in chat. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. 
Hope you're having a phenomenal day. How do you herd manage whitetail? Just leave level ones. Leave level ones, kill the twos and threes. You can stack the threes in your favorite zones if you want to get ones faster. I've got full guides on that. So if you want to get more detailed info, check out the whitetail guide. What weapon do I use to farm? I use the 338 bolt action. There we go. Nice, Bubba Bear. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Yo, Andrew, what's up, man? I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully you're doing good as well. There we go. How about I grind for Red Fox currently trying to shoot down my map on EC? Ooh, see, Red Fox is something I really don't know much about, man. I don't really grind the small game predators like Fox or Coyote. So I, I honestly don't even know where to begin with that. Nice, champ. <laughs> TTK, I love that we can do like 10 second timeouts now. That's that's amazing. I am so happy that YouTube finally made it so you can choose the length of the timeout instead of it always being like, what, 10 minutes? Or what was it before? Was it five minutes before or was it 10? I think it was five. Used to be five? Yeah, I kind of thought so. I'm glad they let you decide now. Well, it was 300 seconds, uh, Aiden, which that would come out to five minutes because uh, 600 seconds would be 10 minutes. Uh, the only people I give moderator to are like close friends of mine, people that I've met through essentially like people that I've got close to, whether it be like people I chat with all the time or IRL friends or um, like moderators of other content creators that I'm friends with. Like that's pretty much the only people I give moderator to just cause like, it, it's hard to know who to trust unless I actually have known them for a bit and talked to them a lot. And no dynamic got a 10 second timeout marble, uh, with YouTube's new update. I think it's only on mobile devices at the moment, but if you're, if you're modding a stream on mobile. You can choose anywhere from like, I think 10 seconds, clear up to 24 hours for a timeout. YouTube has like really gave people more control over moderation, which is nice. Cause like not every, not everything, like not everybody that's breaking rules in chat deserves a five minute timeout. Sometimes you just want like a short one. And then on like more extreme instances, you may want a longer one. So it's nice that YouTube's giving us the options now. So you're not strictly limited to just five minutes. <laughs> yeah, Zachy. Well, you haven't like deserved it yet, Zach. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Nate gotcha. <laughs> RIP, Zachy. Well, I shouldn't have said anything, Zachy. <laughs> you know how Nate is. He's trigger happy. Oh, man. No, but we can take you to the Gulag, uh, Isaac. Yo, count 1,538. What a weird spot to stop. Look at him. He's just chilling. Yo, Smoke, how's it going, dude? Hey, 
Hey, Risen, how's it going, dude? That is hilarious, Risen. <laughs> uh, Risen and Zaki, is it? Oh, man. I should have known with a name like that that it would be Zaki. I should have known. Low hunting pressure? Like, how do you get low hunting pressure? You have to use tripods ground blinds or, or waterfowl blinds or tree stands. That'll get you quarter hunting pressure. Alternatively, if you don't want to use a stand, you can use bows. Bows give you half hunting pressure, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's half. What a crazy mythical. I love that rack. I would love to get a rare with this rack right here. That shot at the end was wild. Love to see it. What map do I recommend you grinding for the Great One Moose? Uh, if you're doing herd management, Leighton is probably the best. If you're just shooting everything, then I would recommend Rev on Thule or Medved. My personal favorite is Leighton. It's a lot of fun, but uh, it's quite brushy, so that's the downside to it. Nice, Swift. That's awesome, man. Congrats on your great one, Fallow. I've been good, Bear. Been doing good. Oh. No. No, no, no New England HM. That sounds like the most miserable grind you could ever do. <laughs> that sounds so miserable. Dude, I I was clicking it and it wouldn't let me click it. Hold up. I said go back to nine, not eight. Uh, I think you were timed up for five minutes. I think Nate can't do anything else. 24 hours, wait, did you really hit him with the 24 hour? Let me go up. Let me let me see that. No, it says 300 seconds. Yeah, it just says 300 seconds for me. It was just 300 seconds from Nate. Was that a nine? Ah, it's a mythical. Ma'am, why would you do that? Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I just broke the game. I double-clicked main menu. When you double-click on go to main menu, if you enter back in, you can't move. Watch this. Wait. Oh, no, it worked. Oh, gosh. It acts... Okay, we're fine. It's... It, we're actually fine. That's so weird. The last two times I've accidentally double-clicked on exit to main menu, it made it so I couldn't move. How to get lots of money in the hunter? Grinds. Doing grinds for species that give high amounts of money is the best way to get lots of money. For example, if you're on Emerald Coast, um, oh no. Oh, nope, I was I was right, it did bug us out. <laughs> it just took a bit. Uh, so I gotta restart the game. That's what it did, that's right. It makes it so you can't fast travel, then you get stuck. Gosh, how does that happen? It's such a weird bug. And it's one that most likely you'll never run into unless you hit exit to main menu twice really fast. Such a strange bug. Should I shoot the solo red deer and how does it affect my grind? If you're doing herd management, you will need to shoot the solo red deer because you want to manage those down as quick as possible. 
If you're not doing herd management, you can shoot them as well because, you know, just shoot whatever. But either way, you're probably going to have to shoot the solos. I mean, if you're doing a non-HM grind, you can probably avoid them if you'd like to. Uh, let's start over here. I'm going to start from the beginning. But yeah, like it, it, it's not bad to shoot the solos. Just know that you're going to have to chase them around because they don't always go to the same place. How is the more recent Red Deer Guide outdated? Are you talking about my Red Deer Guide for Tiabaroa? Because I've learned a lot more about herd management. That's essentially why. I've learned a lot more about herd management since I made that video. So there's going to be data that's not necessarily the way that I do it anymore. And I can't remember if I made my last Red Deer Guide before or after they did the population redistribution on Tiabaroa. No, MXG, we have not got the great one yet. We're at 1,542 kills, and no great one has shown yet. We're getting a crap load of diamonds, though, and a decent bit of rares, so can't complain. It's gone pretty well. I did it about a year ago. Oh, yeah, it's definitely way out of date then. That was just barely after I started HM. So back then, like, I did not know the stuff that I know now. Nice dead shot. That's amazing, man. Congrats. That's crazy. Hopefully we can get ours soon. To be fair, though, compared to a lot of my grinds, 1543 is not a long grind. Because my first two, great one, red deer, took 3,000 each. My second, or my third took 6,000. My fourth took 6,700. And then number five took 680. Number six took 180, I believe. It was either 180 or 120. Do I enjoy the hunter? I mean, I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't. That is very lucky dynamic. I wish I had that luck for Red Deer. I just don't get the crazy red deer luck like a lot of people do. Like, I get incredible fallow deer luck and very good whitetail luck. And pretty decent moose luck, to be honest. Like, aside from the one terrible grind I had, most of my moose grinds have been very tolerable. But I, I don't have the same luck with red deer or bears. Red deer and bears have always been rough for me. Hoping that we can get this thing soon, though. 210, 175 in between 5 and 6 kills. Wow, Zaki. Wow. Wow. What is my most disappointing great one? The second common quad paddle moose. You can no longer get common fur types with the moose, though, because it was so disappointing when you got a common instead of one of the cool fabled furs that they have. So you can't get commons anymore. The devs, like, fix that. Ooh. <laughs> We got another pie ball, but it's a five. He's so cute. Look at that little feller. Little pie ball and five. That's adorable. That is adorable. We got one other here. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Boop. Had to put one more into him. We've had pretty good luck with the uh, rares. I think we're averaging a rare every 200 kills, which is above average by like 100 or so. Normally, the average for rares is like one every 300. Or if it's like a melanistic or a pi or a... Um, gosh, I can't speak. Let me start over. I'll start from scratch. I've noticed the average for rares... 
is usually like one in 300. However, very few of those are usually albino or mela. So I feel like melas are more like one in 500 and so are the albinos. But the piebalds definitely spawn like one in 300 from what I've seen. Look at that little beauty. We're getting really lucky with the piebalds this, uh, this grind. That's four piebalds in the last two days. That's pretty awesome. Oh, gotcha, Deadshot. Well, glad you enjoy the content, man. Got ourselves a pretty little piebald. Nice, Todd. That's awesome. Tips for staying motivated during a grind. Over 1,500 kills into fallow. Uh, set up side goals. That's the biggest thing. Be searching for more than just the great one. Have like side goals of like, I want to get a rare with this rack or I want to get an albino that's at least this big. Or like, I want to get a super rare. Or I want to get like a super wonky, weird looking diamond. Or I want to get like a 270 scoring diamond fallow. Like have a bunch of side goals so that there's more things to look forward to than just getting the great one to spawn. The more things you have that you're looking for, the like more chances of something exciting spawning. And above all, like I feel personally the thing that keeps me most motivated and excited about a grind is streaming it. Even back when I was streaming for like three people, back when I first started doing YouTube, having those three people wanting to watch my content, it made me motivated to do more content because it was like I, I wasn't just doing it for myself anymore. I was also providing entertainment for a few people. Like even just streaming for a few people really helps with keeping it interesting. You can ask pretty much any small YouTuber. They'll tell you the same thing. Even just having three or four people wanting to watch you play gives you like a whole new level of motivation. What scope do I prefer, the Hyperion or the Argus? I like both of them for different uh, purposes and different reasons. It really depends on the grind. And also just depends on the day too. Like some days I feel like using one over the other. Typically I prefer the Hyperion, but for some scenarios the Argus is more favorable for me. I carry both of them on me so I can swap out whenever I feel like it. Yeah, oh, Beach. And honestly, man, I just feel like I feel like that's really all it comes down to, right? I feel like most of the people that call me a cheater and think I'm cheating don't actually sit down and watch the content. They see like two videos where I'm getting like where I have like four stacked great ones, right? Like back when we used to stack the great one my tail, they see a video like that and they're like, oh, this guy's 100% cheating. And they don't ever watch a live stream. They don't watch any of my other videos. And so they, they don't get a chance to see that they're wrong. There we go. Boop. Yeah, I'd say like with that lone wolf, I'll, I'll tell you guys a little secret, a little strategy secret on how I started building up my channel. I was streaming on Twitch, right? And I was putting videos up daily on YouTube. And then on YouTube, you know, I'd be posting my daily videos. And at the end of every single video or at the beginning of every video, I would plug my Twitch. I'd tell people like, hey, if you want to see it live, go over to Twitch. And then when I'm on Twitch, I'd recommend my videos to viewers. I'd talk about my videos and say, like, I do YouTube videos as well if you want more content. And that helps a lot. Cross-promoting helps a ton with getting your first few viewers. And then also, being the first person to talk about brand new news and updates for games that you cover. So, for example, like... Back when I first started doing YouTube, I talked about the new, like, news and updates before anybody else. I tried to be the first person to upload every single time something new was announced. And that helps a ton because if somebody wants to look it up early, they're only going to have your video to click on. 
So being the first to talk about brand new updates and stuff and like news happening with the game is huge in like getting your first bit of following. And then at that point, like once you've got a small following from doing like a an update or news video, right? Then the next time you go live, there's a good chance that there's going to be a few people that are going to jump in and watch the stream because they found you through one of your videos talking about like updates to the game. That is like a pretty vital thing when you're a small creator. If you're just starting, you got to be the first to talk about stuff. It's going to give you a much higher chance of somebody deciding they want to subscribe to you or watch your stuff or watch your live streams. It's very helpful. And on top of it, like if you can not only be the first to talk about stuff, but also provide very quality videos, like make sure that you got like a, make sure you're not like stuttering or stopping too much when you're talking, making sure you're not like going um and uh and oh a lot when you're talking. Like if you can add that on top of it, that's going to once again increase the amount of people that want to stay. Cause like, I know for a fact, a lot of my old content I, I paused and said like, um, uh, uh, a lot in my videos. And that's one thing that for a lot of people that'll make them not want to watch anymore. So like confidence is huge. Confidence is huge when you want to make content, like be super confident or as confident as you can be. It's tough early on, but it is a pretty massive help. Also, did I see... Okay, let's see right there. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. One of the best hunter call of the wild. You're so energetic and fun to watch. Appreciate it, man. Love the vids, but I want to start a whitetail grind because it'd be my first grind. I don't know how. I need to major help. Level 36, by the way. I've actually got a guide on whitetail grinding on the channel. If you go to the guides playlist or the herd management guides playlist... It will be in there. It'll be the thumbnail that has a great one white tail with the drop time rack on the front. That video includes a herd management guide as well. And also just a general guide for any type of white tail grind. Just use AI voice. <laughs> hey, I mean, that is an option nowadays. It's not going to be as popular as like your own voice, but it's an option. Hey, Grayson, how's it going, dude? Have I ever lost a great one? No, I've never lost a great one, but I have messed one up before. I spine shot a great one whitetail like a week before the great one fallow came out or somewhere around there. Need help setting up the grind. Is that included too? Uh, the thing about setting up a grind is you're going to need different tent placements and stuff than I would because everybody's map is laid out a little bit different. Like your zones are not going to be identical to my zones. So you're likely going to have to do completely different tent setups. Um, if you want tips on like general setup, like just general tips that can be applied to any grind, I've got a guy that I did with Lady Legend. In fact, I think we've got a command for that as well. Let me just put it in chat real quick. I believe that's the command. There we go. That guy kind of talks about like how we determine how to set up for a grind. Nicholas with the eight months. Welcome back, dude. Hope you're doing amazing. Oh, mail there. Mail there. We only have two? Yeah, we only have two. We only got two of them there. Smoked him. What was the first ever animal you shot in the hunter? I don't know what the first animal was, to be honest. I think it was a fallow deer. I think it was a fallow deer. Because I played the game in the pre-release beta essentially like you could sign up with your email for a chance to get to test the game out early back in December of 2016 and I, I got lucky enough to get accepted for that 
long before I was a content creator or anything. And so I think the first thing I shot was a fallow deer. Cause like on Hirschfeld and they start you out very, very close to fallow deer territory. So I'm pretty sure the first animal I ever shot was a fallow. Well, they didn't have latent lakes in the, uh, in the beta. There was no latent lakes back in the uh, 2016 beta for the Hunter Call of the Wild. So it was not the uh, starting doe for Leighton. However, I think actually, yeah, it might've been the starting roe deer. No, no, it wasn't because I remember I messed up the shot and I never found it. So the first thing that I killed was a fallow deer because I messed up that uh, doe because I knew nothing about the game. I knew nothing about the game. So I messed up the roe doe. So yeah, I never actually, uh, I never actually got the first female roe deer. Is your HM complete? Uh, it's about as far as I want to take it right now. We're getting a diamond approximately every 21 kills. Like 20 to 25 on average. So we're at a pretty good state. It's not as extreme as our Tiabaroa HM was, but it's at a tolerable state. It's definitely good enough for me at least at this current moment. I think I'm going to take it farther after we get a couple of great ones, maybe. But we'll see. Guess it depends on if I feel like we need to take it any further. Because as of now, this has been pretty good. Oh, no. That's the new one, right? I mean, I could leave that for a little bit. I could leave that. And then just introduce a new zone into the grind that has a five in it and kill the five instead of this four that just spawned. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I don't know what zone I'd add, but at some point during the next couple days, I'll find a new zone to add. What's the kill count? 1,559. First great one I botched it. Oh no, dude, that sucks. It happens though. Like we all mess up trophies from time to time. I've messed up a great one as well. It's not fun, but it happens. All of us mess up a trophy that we didn't want to mess up at some point. I mean, I messed up my very first uh, diamond raccoon dog. I was so heartbroken about that because it took me so long to find it and then I screwed up the shot. Obviously, I know that doesn't compare to a great one, but it was still like, uh, it was still tough. It was still very tough because I had been, I had been wanting one of those for a long time. Jared, thank you for upgrading your membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Up and upgrading up to this second tier, the Super Crow tier. Thank you so much. When will the no DLC playthrough come back? Uh, to be honest, I had forgot I was even doing that. I've been so caught up with like the angler release and all these new grinds that I've been doing that I, I've just kind of lost, uh, lost track of some of the stuff that we were doing a few months ago. Um, I don't know. I, I will probably get back to it at some point. Gotcha, Zaki, gotcha. You have to pick up all animals. I would recommend it, yes. It, it seems that if you don't claim your animals, you won't get great ones. Do I like my new creator skin? Are you talking about in the Hunter Classic? Yes, I do. I, I got to choose like what the design was. So yes, I am very, very happy with how it looks. I think they're, uh, they're like a art guy did incredible with it. Yeah, now that you mention it, Zaki, I don't think I have either. 
I don't think I've seen anybody post a great one fallow from Hirschfelden. Who knows? Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll do that someday and try to be the first to post a one. How much does the three hundred cost? The three hundred is like what seventy five thousand, I think. It's seventy five thousand in game currency once you have purchased the Yukon Valley DLC. You gotta purchase Yukon Valley first, and then after that, it's uh, it's like seventy five thousand. When will I make a video about it? I've already made one, uh, Legendary Spring Roll. I made one before it was actually available for people to purchase. Um, because they gave me a copy of that skin the second that the competitions were going live. And so I did a whole video kind of showing it off and talking about it. Just one hind there. Interesting. Jared, thank you for the one month, dude. I upgraded the membership. I was wondering what are the two legendary fish this Thursday? Uh, let's see. The next two legendaries in Angler after the current two is... Oh, nice. We got three males there. Uh, the next two should be... Gosh, what are they called? Um, Sidewinder and Spielfin. Because, like, we just had Big Larry and Sir Henrik, and now we're currently on... Um... Help all the Dominator and Goldstein. So yeah, it'll be Spielfin and good old Sidewinder. So you guys already know it's going to be a struggle for Sidewinder. I feel like we got to go for him again, though. I feel like we have to. I mean, Sidewinder is the toughest legendary in the game, and I'm a sucker for going for difficult things. Hence the, all the great one grinding and super rare grinding, so... <laughs> uh, you already know we're going to go for Sidewinder again. Which reminds me, I need to go for Goldstein and uh, Cal Paul before they're out of rotation. I think I might do an angler video catching two legendaries in one day. Because, like, I've already done individual videos for Cal Paul and for uh, Goldstein. So I feel like the only logical next step is to get both of them in one video. That's new. That's a new five. Caught a diamond brook trout from your members. Only video spot. Nice, Aussie kid. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, that video used to be one that was public, but I realized I messed up some of the editing on it. So I ended up making it a uh, members video. Because uh, I had messed up the editing a little bit. Which that reminds me, I need to make a new trout guide as well at some point. There we go. Boop. Got him. Oh, yeah. We've done tons of Leighton Lakes whitetail grinds. Um, Out of my 27 Great One whitetail, I think literally 24 of them were off of Leighton. I, I've done an absurd amount of late and whitetail grinding. Like a crazy amount. I think I've got like 20, like approximately 27,000 kills on Leighton. Maybe a little bit more even. Best spinner size for gold or diamond brook trout. Uh, size four will get you gold and diamond. Size four is the one that I use for uh, gold and above. And then I think if you want diamonds only, it's size two. I might be wrong there. 
So don't quote me, but I think it's size two for diamond only. But I would still recommend using the size four. Ow. You guys had to die in my tent. Come on. So rude. Like, if you're going to die, die outside of my tent, please. Oh, gosh, faded. <laughs> Poor bro, bruh. Oh, man. Legendary, but it's a guaranteed troll. That is troll rack. I hit the female behind. Aye, aye, aye. Size four is diamond only? It, it definitely isn't, Doan. I caught all of my golds on size four. All my gold brookies were size four. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. Beautiful. Now we got him. Let's go. Oh my gosh, Zachy. <laughs> Later, Texan boy. Uh, not tonight, Zoe. Or Joey. Gosh, I can't speak. Not tonight, Joey. I got a video on the angler tomorrow, though. Tomorrow is going to be a little double video special. There's going to be a Call the Wild video and an angler video. It's going to be great. Wow, TTK. It's coming in swinging. You and Nate are swinging tonight. Absolutely swinging. Nothing there. Yeah, probably, TTK. He probably will. You're not wrong. Yeah, Doan, all of my, um, all of my diamond and, or not diamond, all my gold brook trout have been off of size four spinner. Mythical. Hey, Chip, what's up, man? Hope you're having a good day. Are you sure the chart says that, Doan? Because it didn't when I looked at it last. I swear the chart said size four for golds. Because that's what I went off of um, before I made the guide. Let, let me take a look real quick. Huh, it does. That's weird. That's not normal. Did they change something, maybe? Because, yeah, that's definitely not what I was using. I was using a size 4 spinner, I remember, because I would always cast out the size 4 so that I could catch gold uh, brook trout, cutthroat trout. And it was working great. I'll have to go back to my videos and see. Because I've got all my uh, gold brook trout in videos. I can see what lure I was using. Can any level 8s for animals be a diamond? Yes. Water buffalo make diamond at level 8. A decent bit. Technically, it's possible for all other animals that have level 8, but... From the majority of them, it's never been accomplished. Okay, this is this is this is a uh, bug in me. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out. I'm gonna go find my brook trout video and see what size I was using. You guys will probably hear my video in the background. Back here on Call of the Wild. The 
Scarecrow, Scarecrow was correct. Let's see. Yep, I was using a size 4 for my diamond and my gold. So the gold that I caught with the size 4 was 6.80 pounds, Doan. It was 6.80. Um, I caught another gold here. This one was, was size 5, though. So size 5 spinner caught me a 5.44 pound gold. Size 4 spinner caught me a 6.80 pound gold. I wonder if size 4 only gets you big golds. That might be it. It might be that only the biggest golds can bite on them. Oh, gotcha, Doan. Okay. See, yeah, I was confused about that because the reserve help sheet is what I used before and it did say size 4 for gold. I don't know why they changed it. Because it was correct before. Maybe maybe they accidentally changed it up. Because I know for a fact that reserve help sheet used to say 4 for gold because I was following the help sheet. Hard to say. I'm assuming they just made a mistake with it. That's a legendary. He's a troll. He's a troll. Two forty. Why you troll me? Why you be trolling? Oh, no worries, Dylan. It's not you. It's not your fault that they, uh, that they made a mistake on it. Nah, Zaki, that's the thing, right? I go off of, like, an average. I go through streaks like this all the time, but then I'll have a run where I get three diamonds in one run. That's typically how it goes for me. You get a lot of uh get a lot of dry periods and then you have some runs where you get like 3 or 4 diamonds. But that happens with any grind. I think I was explaining this earlier in the stream as well. Or maybe it was before I started the stream. Maybe I was talking to Nathan uh Bree and Caitlin and Brover. I might have been but yeah, like I'll go through probably like three or four runs where I don't get anything. And then I'll get a diamond every single run for a couple runs. Sometimes two or three of them a run. And so it averages out. Let's see what the average is right now, actually. It was 21 before I started the stream. So we're currently at 1576. Now we're going to minus... 836 because that's when I that was the kill count I was at when I finished shooting all the stacked ones I don't count the stacked ones because that's not going to give us a good representation of what we're getting right now so we've killed 740 since then we've killed a total of 40 diamonds but nine of those were before we were done stacking so we've got 31 since we were done stacking Divided by 31. Uh, the average is every 23 kills right now. So we're about the same. But once we get into a run where we have like multiple in one run, it'll shoot right back down to like around 20. If red deer actually exist. Why do they keep the new game button on the main menu? Almost just lost three years of progress. I mean, they give you a warning message when you accidentally press it. It'll ask you if you want to continue. That's their like way of making sure you don't accidentally, uh, accidentally reset the game when you don't want to. I think it's fine the way it is.
Although maybe a second message like, are you sure, sure, sure you want to reset? And then another one that says like, are you absolutely positively sure that you would like to reset your account? Like maybe that would be a little better. Where are you, big male? Where's our big male? We want our big male. Wish that rack at least has a chance. Yeah, same. It'd be nice if the troll rack had a chance of making it. Kind of sucks that it's guaranteed to not make it. Uh, yeah, Deadshot. It's like a, it's like a way to help out the creator and get like some cool perks in return. But that's also why I made it as cheap as it would let me. I think it's 99 cents a month to become a member. And then you get access to all the emotes. You get extra videos on the channel. You also, uh, get access to members only discord channels and some other cool stuff like that. There we go. Two, two, three. One forty three. Nice Texan boy. How long did it take to memorize all the racks? I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember. I've shot so many red deer, I don't remember when I started memorizing the racks. It's been so long since we did our, our like first wave of red deer grinding. Oh, that's right, this is where we started. We shot them here first. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and end, guys. We're approaching two hours. It's 8, 17 p.m. for me now. It's getting close to time where we uh, are going to be trying to get my daughter to go to sleep. So I will talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. It was a fun one. We managed to get a, a pie or two piebalds and a few diamonds as well. So it was a solid day. It was a very solid day. Thank you all for being here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.